Say hi or whatever, so I can see. Hi. Yep. I All right. So, what was it you were saying, Kristen? I forgot now. No. -uh. <laughs> no, I think I was talking about my dirty kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You said that something about your. Yeah. I wanted to tell Jenna that the dirty kid with quotes is not a bad thing. That's what they call the kids that like hot trains and travel. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a bad thing. Okay, but what were you saying about how your or your daughter met Candace and Yeah, Dan? we um lost touch with her. I guess it was about a year ago. We last touched with her, and she had, like, run off with some dirty kids, in quotes. Uh -huh. And we put on Facebook, like, we can't find our daughter. She's, like, 30 years old. But uh, she has, like, dreadlocks, and, like, uh -huh. um, she would hang out with these kids, you know. It's not kids, but, you know, they were running around, and they were, like, hot trains and travel. Okay. So they ended up up there. And in Rogersville, right? Yeah. Okay. Apparently, we've been talking, and I've been, like, telling her how involved I am in the summer walk case. And she's like, Mom, I met these people. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, we bought like drugs from them. Oh wow. Yeah. What kind? Do you know? She she knew she like met Summer. Wow. Yeah. Like where? I mean, do you, okay. So what kind? Now of... she, she's in North Carolina now. So where did they meet them at? Their house. Okay. Um, was it? Do you know? What I, kind of... I feel really nervous about this because I don't want to get her in trouble. Oh, I don't think you're gonna get her in trouble. You're not. You're not mentioning names. We don't know who you are. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't think that they're interested in a drug purchase. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, we got. Yeah. No. So was it... it was like a bunch of kids? Was like it thirty year old kids that went up there? So was it was it meth? Um, you can say like I think so, or you know you don't have to say definite, but uh, not no, not that other thing. Okay, okay, okay. The other type of powder, white powder. No, just weed. Uh, well, how about this? Was it H and okay. F? Okay, okay. H and F. H and F. H and I know what H is, but the S, like S and same. F. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, oh wow. Okay. See, I wondered if um, I wonder. Yeah, if they, yeah, they like stay the night. So how did they run into them? Do you know? I guess they're kind of a known place to go. Oh, so somebody referred them to them? I mean, they didn't just show up at their house, right? I mean, they had to have... They're kind of like brought there. Oh. Okay. Like, they're trained kids. They just, you know. Wow. So somebody um brought them there. Yeah. Um, did they see anybody? And they stayed there. And they stayed there. Wow. So did they say anything else? Like, was there anybody else that was visiting besides the, you know, the, you know, besides, you know, the people that live there, obviously. Was there anybody else besides Candace and Don and the kids? I don't know. It was like a bunch of people. That's what they said. There was a bunch of people there. Yeah, a bunch of people. See, like it was kind of like a I don't know what you call like a trap house, like a, oh, a flop house, a trap house, yeah, like a, like a just a wow, like a trap house, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, a drug house. Um, wow. But she doesn't do that stuff anymore. Yeah. So <laughs> don't get me in trouble. No, like I don't think that you know they're they're not gonna you know that's just you know a purchase like that like she wasn't no, no she's she, clean right really like, she, right like it's that's like me saying I you know that's like somebody saying hey I, I don't think they can arrest somebody for something like that for something they did like you know they can't be like not, not for something like that you know there's a statute of limitations on purchasing of drugs and stuff like that you can't get in trouble for you know you can't be like oh I purchased I like I just don't want her to be involved like you know I, I think though if she thinks I um so did she have any interaction with a summer that she mentioned to you like like did she mention yeah, she was adorable she said that she didn't talk she didn't talk she told me that she seemed like she was autistic oh okay um so it was you said it was about a year ago you think um, let's see. Not even a year. Maybe like February. Wow. And and you um completely, you know, obvious. I mean, this but is now, Dallas, now she's in North Carolina and she's clean. So that's interesting that she's in North Carolina because North Carolina's been brought up before. <laughs> but I mean, maybe that's well, just... yeah, she you know Did jumped she... off the train there, uh -huh. and that's and a lot of these kids go there. She, so she's that's what I'm trying to say. Oh wow! Like when you say kids, though, you mean like you well, just we mean... call them dirty kids. But when you, like, uh, like kids. Okay, so when you say yeah. these travelers or these dirty kids or whatever, when you say kids, you don't mean actually like under 18. You mean actually. No, like 20s, 20s to like 30s. Okay. Like hippie kids that don't shower. They have like yeah. dreadlocks. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. I think I like told, I said it to Jenna and she was like offended. <laughs> oh, maybe she didn't know. She just probably didn't understand what was. I've never heard that term before, so maybe she. Am I live right now? Yeah, I told you you were live. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Jenna. <laughs> yeah, you're live. <laughs> Um, cool. yeah, I call them, I, I know Lakeisha, she's laughing because I call them travelers, <laughs> like gypsies well, or something. I know, my, my, <laughs> I don't best know. Friend, my best friend, we were like pregnant together right out of high school, and yeah. we had our kids together, they the same age, and I just talked to her like a year ago, and she's like, oh, I go, oh, my daughter saw her son, I'm not going to say his name, and, I, and she's like, cool, and I go, oh, did you know he's like a dirty kid? And she goes, what? <laughs> Why call my kid a dirty kid? And I was like, no, that's just what they call them. So, it's like a 
hippie traveler yeah. you know yeah you know they used to call what was it the back well, no they, it was like well never mind i was gonna talk no, about the rainbow people or whatever called. Called, you know like um like all grateful dead kids you know? yeah yeah just hippie-ish um so yeah. <laughs> so um she she thinks from your daughter's experience, like, and you trust her story, right? I mean, you believe this is hundred percent true that she really did um, have a um, yeah, a run in with them. Um, she thinks that yes. this is a place that Don and Candace's house was a place that that a lot of well, people. You know what? I think our family actually knows Don. <laughs> oh, your family? My husband, yeah. In what way? Like, uh, for his, his dad built a log cabin in Arkansas. Uh huh. And his dad used to like play for Loretta Lynn. Oh, like, who, who, who's, who's dad? Um, Don's dad. Oh, your husband. husband. So your husband? Okay, so your husband thinks that he. Yeah, because I've seen they have like similar friends. Well, I know Don did live in Arkansas at one point when he was married to uh, Pamela, I think. Well, yeah, when you, you look him up, like I actually been friends with Don. I tried, to, I added him, and he friended me, and but he's been like messaging me nonstop. And I'm just like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, so you think that your 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 daughter said that this is something a common place that people stop by? You know, on the, that this is. Yeah. yeah she, like after we found out about it, I started messaging her, and I'm like, look at all the videos I'm watching, and she was like, mom. I know there's people, like, you know, leave me out of it. And she told me what happened. And she doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Was there anything anything else that she witnessed that was really not good besides the drug activity? Did she witness any other type of activity that was um that was questionable or inappropriate? You know, they were mean to her kids. Yeah. She didn't like it at all. It's like she would hang out, you know, with Summer and the boys. They were only there like two days. Mm -hmm. Did she they tell you like, where she slept at? I think they slept in the truck or something. Oh, so they stayed outside, supposedly? Yeah, they weren't allowed inside. They weren't allowed inside? Like, it was like five or six people. Wow. Um, so they had to, like, sleep. I think they slept, like, on the ground in sleeping bags or something. Well, I mean, we've heard about, um, let's see, um, you know, Jackie Dobbs, like, you know, hanging out there on their property and stuff and staying over there. They made true stay in, on, in the truck. Um, yeah, they, but they did go inside. Um, I think they only stayed, like, on the top floor. But she yeah. said, she, you know, I guess Candace was kind of mean. Huh, imagine that. Yeah, probably. Especially to other females. Yeah, she didn't want her there, so she just kind of like stayed outside and hung out with Summer. And... Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What does she mean by, what is her, tell her to describe a trap house to us. What does that mean? You don't know what a trap house is? It's a drug house. It's a dope spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's look, a dope spot. I want her to tell me, the person that went there told her, so what is she I didn't she go there. Mean? No. My daughter did. I didn't go there. Right, what is your I'm 51 years old. I don't, I don't do that shit. <laughs> right, what does your daughter mean by trap house? Because trap house can mean... That's what they call them. The kids nowadays, they call them that, you know? We what? Go house, yeah, it's a dope house. That's all it is. Okay, yeah. so, uh, so just, they call it a trap house because of drugs? Uh-huh. A trap house can be, pardon me, real fast, trap house can well, be... Where you can go to do it. Yep, that's where you lay it when you're doing drugs. Yeah. I'm, I'm from a big city, so you know, outside Chicago, I, like, they're yeah. everywhere. Yeah, they like play music and you can hang out and just chill. I just wanted to know what her daughter, being in between the age of 20 and 30, and I do want kudos to her for being on the right track, but from 20 to 30 and me being 50, we would call a trap house. We stayed there all night and we did drugs or, you know, I just wanted with that age, what did her daughter mean by trap house is what I was saying, Brian. You want me to answer that? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's just the name for it. Um... Well, these are like traveling kids, so they just travel around, and that's what they do. They like stay at certain people's houses. Okay, a lot of people in the chat are asking, what do you mean by traveling kids? Now, I do know that by another girl that I have watched, and what they mean by that is young kids and older, because this person that I was watching, the person that did the traveling train to train is, they get yeah. on the train, and they go from one place to the next to yeah, find exactly. the next drug place that, to get uh -huh. high. Yeah, that's what they do. That's their life. Yeah. They jump trains. Like um, I don't know the trains that have like cargo. They, they also have they also have people with them that are called taggers. They yeah. go through and make they do uh, big pictures on the side of the trains and say yeah. I was here and stuff like that. There yeah. you go. Uh, Julie said it's really dangerous. Actually, like a couple of her friends actually died because you can like try to jump on and get run over. And I was always like frantic, going, "Oh my god, don't go!" You know? Anybody in the chat that has a question, I'm watching chat. If you'll ask, what yeah, you thank you. I had to step. I had to step away for a second. Oh, do you guys have a question? Do kids, do kids do kids do do they ride on the trains as well? Do kids ride on the trains? When we say kids, I'm thinking that they're saying that's not. Well, legal. that's the thing. They're not kids, but they just call them dirty kids. But they're like twenty to thirty years old. Right. I've never heard of dirty kids, so that's it's like a new. It's a new thing. Yeah, they they used to be called taggers. It's like a new, like my daughter told me, I was like, what is that? You're not a dirty kid. You're clean. She's like, that's just what they call us. It's like another word for like hippie travelers, you know? 
Um, LJ says you can Google dirty kids. It's a lifestyle of drifters that crisscross around the country. Right. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Yeah, um, does your daughter um, remember Grandis being there by chance? Did she say no, she didn't she never say anything about that? Yeah. No, they just like, you know, hung out and got all I guess. Did your daughter She's cleaning now, thanks fucking god. So I guess I'm not discussed. No, that's fine. We, we cuss here, it's fine. Go ahead, Lilith. I'm sorry, I'm I'm way behind y'all. So did your daughter ever see Summer? Did she mention? Yeah, she did. So she did see Summer? Uh-huh. She like hung out with her like all day. The baby Summer? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, she, remember, she said she didn't talk though. Like she could only say like, like uh, she thought she might be like on the autism spectrum. She didn't really say many words. Um, somebody's asking, did your daughter witness anything bad happening to the kids at the Wells home? Which you kind of already answered, but um, just being yelled at, yelled at, and spanked, kind of thing. So when she was there, they were using actual, they were using downers, right? Not like what we assume um, they usually are using. Not heroin. Huh? Heroin. Yeah. Um. Which is why you know that one video about um have you have you seen yes, I know. Yeah, she was on, ben, on Benny's? You, you know where she's sitting there, she looks dead, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, yep. uh -huh. that's what I thought she was on in that video. She OD'd. She OD'd. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I mean she looked like just really I mean that's what she the drug she looked like she was on. But well, I'm sure they going have Narcan, so I just look so that's why I was assuming they were that she was using, but um Oh know, my god, she was she was so like dead. You know, I mean so I don't so I was surprised to hear that I don't know, you don't hear much about like supposedly what was in their system was cocaine, meth and, and um weed, but it's like I mean in that video no, it really looked uh, like she was on some kind of you know okay. No, I think it's heroin and fentanyl. Was the ones that those are the drugs that you think that they were using that day? Weed, heroin, fentanyl. Yep. They, did you hear me? they put it in the weed. They were putting it in the weed? Yeah, I can't say that. One second. Um they were putting it in the weed? Yeah, they put fentanyl in the weed. See, that's interesting you say that because I swear to God. Well, mm -hmm. I mean it was a cigarette. I swear to God that Don was putting something in a cigarette when he was on my yeah. life. I swear to God yeah. he, was, he was taking the they table and he was like he was like now I know some people um take their cigarette and they put on, you know, they kinda like you know how some people smack their hand with it to try to pack it down? It was he wasn't doing that. He had the tobacco part down towards the table and it was like he was packing something in the cigarette. I know, everybody said he was like Chopping coke or something, and I was like, I don't know. I, I think you're possibly putting coke. Oh, yeah. oh well, what the heck? You were doing something. Oh my god, that was so funny. Vesta just that just reminded me how um <laughs> that just reminded when Vesta just just yelled for whoever whoever that was that reminded me of Doug um that Sandra. <laughs> so, <laughs> when he just yelled that, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> I know. I I have a chair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Six up. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say that I've been following this case like everybody else since the beginning, and to me, this, even though it's from a third party is the most compelling thing that we've heard. It's the most believable thing that we've heard. It is, to me, the smoking gun. And I know that she's trying to protect her daughter. I understand that. Um, I'm in recovery myself and I would want to protect myself as well, but we're talking about a five-year little girl and they need to come forward with any information, even if they have to do okay. it anonymously. I kind of heard a little bit of what you said. Um, can, you, can you repeat that, except like the last, she can, I'm gonna put her closer to the speaker so she can. I, I just think that um, they need to come forward, even if it's anonymously. This is a little girl that's missing. I know they want to protect themselves, but yeah. this is the most compelling thing that I've heard. It's the most believable. That's all I wanted to ask. You think Did you ever see oh, God, yeah. trafficking going on? I like started crying when I watched it today. Like, oh my God. Sorry, she, yeah, oh my she, God. There's people talking to you. I know you can't hear, um, but okay. no, it's fine. It's hard to, you know, this whole like speakerphone thing is hard to do, but you know, it wasn't, you were getting more oh, pain. Sorry, guys. No, no, it's fine. No, somebody asked. Um, Did your daughter ever see any sex trafficking going on in that house? Yeah, was there any sex trafficking going on? No, she was only there for two days. So she didn't see anything like that. She just saw um, the kids being like faint and like being mean. Like, I mean, I, I've raised my grandson for some. So, so did they have money to buy these drugs? I mean, Ziggy, let's talk about how much yeah. fentanyl it takes to kill a five-year-old. Right, not A much. crumb, a crumb. So, so it's like a, the house is like a fucking shack. So how did they pay for these drugs? I can't tell you that. I don't want you to think. I don't, you don't, I don't know. You don't think there was anything, anything possibly, like I think anything traded? These, these young people mm -hmm. travel through and they're like a stopping ground and they sell them. So like, that's why I'm wondering. I didn't want to like say that about your daughter, but do you think there was? Oh, like, she's clean now, so it's okay. No, I mean, I didn't want to say like maybe what she's. Because how were they paying for the drugs? How was your daughter paying for the drugs? That's what I mean. Oh. You don't think she was doing anything like? I don't was know. there any sexual really activity going on between no, you? Well, I don't know. If she was like messed up, she might. God, don't. Oh my god. There's no way for anybody to know that. And when somebody's in active addiction, of course they would do that. She was hanging out with a bunch of guys. There's only like one other girl. So. Um. They somehow got money. I guess robbing people. Yeah. Um. Was did, did she witness any anything sexual going on with anybody, in the home? Well, there's a lot of sex going on. You know. At Don's house. Uh huh. I think what? that they need to, she needs to call TBI wait, right hold on. now. Wait, hold on. She witnessed, wait, hold on. Wait, can we, thank you for having me up. I'm going to go down now. Okay, thank you. Um, I just want, I want to ask you because you just, like, you, th you threw me off, or you, that shocked me. So she witnessed. No, I guess, like, with her, what they do, I guess, make them, like, yeah, yeah, sexual? yeah. Was she, did she witness sexual things going on at the Wells house? You're saying yes? Well, yeah. Between who? Everyone. Even mm. Don and Candace? I don't know if I can say that. Why? No. What do you mean you can't say it? Hold on, let's not cut her off, please. Uh, I don't, I don't want to get her in trouble. Oh, you want your daughter in trouble? Yeah. Why would that get your daughter in trouble? Because freaking FBI might show up at her house. <laughs> but no, it's, um, we're talking about uh, 
willing sexual behavior. I mean, just like uh, yeah, consensual guess, stuff, right? Or is it? I don't know. I guess the drugs that you do, like yeah, orgy, orgy kind of stuff, you know. With Don and Candace, you think? I'm genuinely sorry, but the kids were like not there. I guess they were like putting a dungeon or something. They were what? Putting a what? Putting a dungeon. She didn't really say anything about the kids being around. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um. I wasn't there, so I'm just trying to. Do you hang out over? Uh, do you do you hang out at Benny's channel? No, I fucking hate him. Okay. <laughs> I was just making sure that this was not a um some kind no, of prank uh, or something. Uh, no. like... Fucking hate that dude. Except his last video made me cry when he was crying about his life. <laughs> that made me really sad. I guess it was like all an act because he's back. Um, messages. I um, you can go ahead and unmute. If I tried unmuting you. I just wanted to hear. It. She shocked me when she mentioned the the sex stuff because I I and I just. Oops, I'm echoing on six ups. Um. Yeah, well, I would no, like comment on that. Yeah, go ahead. When and she could probably back me up on this, but when it when it's a trap house like that, most of the time is the girls go there to get free drugs, and how to get free drugs is they screw yeah. everybody in the house. Uh huh. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of sex going on in the house. Well, and, and it's, left, she had, well, she had a boyfriend, but he turned. They went to like an art festival here in a well, we live in Florida, and they went to like this art festival, and they had like um, she went to go to, like hula hoop and all this stuff. Uh huh. With her boyfriend, and they got an argument because. He found out that she like slept with another guy, and she he punched her in the nose and broke her nose, and then stole her backpack and all of her stuff, wow. and took off. And then she ended up with some Mexican guy, <laughs> and he's like, "Come with me." So she ended up going with him up there. So she was with a Mexican guy, and we had no idea where she was. And we even like put all of her Facebook like, "Our daughter's missing," and we even had like truck drivers looking for her and everywhere. 